Welcome to Digital Beats. It is a series of short talk with industry leaders to unlock the key to digital transformation. My name is Hong Choi. Uh, I'm the current head of the Global Partner Ecosystem and Strategic Alliances at Alibaba Cloud. I lead the overall strategy and execution of the Alibaba Cloud Global ISV business in a sell to and a sell through business model. I spent a majority of my career working in tech and cloud hyperscalers. So it is my pleasure today to invite two leaders in this space to Digital Beats to share with you their insights on the topic of born in the cloud, convergence of hardware, software, and ideas. Let me start off with Eric Lee. Eric is a director at Intel's China Hyperscaler Strategy and Execution Team. Eric is a 17-year veteran of Intel in many leadership roles. Today, Eric's team helped define Intel's development, product, uh, as well as business strategy for China-based hyperscale cloud services uh, and driving strategic collaborations to ensure that platform requirements meet all customers' needs. So Eric, welcome to Digital Beats. Thanks for inviting me. Awesome. Up next, um, we have Dr. Raymond Huang. He is a director of Alibaba Cloud Architecture. Um, Dr. Huang graduated from Cornell University with a PhD degree specializing in computer architecture and research. Since joining Alibaba Cloud, he serves as the director of cloud architecture and as the secretary general of the Architectural Committee of Alibaba Cloud. He is responsible for the overall abstract platform architecture design. So Raymond, welcome to Digital Beats. All right, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's get to it. You, you know, it, this series we talk about born in the cloud. So our audience okay. have heard the term born in the cloud many times. So, what does it mean for hardware providers like Intel and cloud providers like Alibaba to be born in the cloud? Like to solve, such as to solve distributed computing, uh, latency issues, high IO needs and so on. So when we are saying born for cloud, the first word coming to my mind is cloud native. Cloud native is the best way to serve distributed applications. It has a group of essential capabilities to support that. These capabilities including extremely auto-scaling, high availability and reliability, extremely quick innovation, big data analysis, operating capabilities, trusted securities, et cetera. And Intel has a lot of collaborations with Alibaba in cloud native domain, include both hardware and software. From the so hardware side, Intel has worked together with Alibaba in the past few years to build a cloud native infrastructure by using Intel's various hardware acceleration capabilities. So hardware security capabilities and hardware isolation capability. For example, in hybrid container deployment environment through Intel's RDT technology, the resource director technology and our hardware DRC technology, Intel provided an effective way to monitor and control different workloads usage on resources such as cache and memory. So this can really help us to, you know, ensure the latency SLA, even under a very high density container deployment and high CPU utilization rate. So that's for the hardware side. And from the mm -hmm. software side, we also have uh, collaborations with Alibaba on virtualization technology, uh, namely the Kata Techn container, the Kata container can provide a good isolation while also keep containers flexibility. So that's at the solution level, how we collaborate with our customer uh, for a cloud native type of deployment. Wow. So, you know, uh, I always think of Intel as a hardware provider only, but when it comes to building solutions for cloud, uh, mm -hmm. there's obviously a really close collaboration. Uh, yep. between the hardware maker as well as the cloud platform provider. So thanks for your insight. Um, Raymond, how about you? Uh, what, what are your thoughts on this topic? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so um, to me and also to Alibaba Cloud, uh, I think born in cloud or born for cloud has always been how to better leverage and orchestrate the underlying computing resources to our customers mm -hmm. and how we could partner with technology leaders such as Intel 
right, to bring technolo technological advancements and benefits that are not available off the cloud or anywhere else. In fact, since day one, Alibaba Cloud has been an advocate for the broader sense of cloud native or born for cloud. The architecture that we have since we first started is that we have built the Apisara cloud operating system that manages a global scale um, distributed arch architecture and infrastructure from scratch. And some of the very first products that were offered from Alibaba Cloud on our platform was data-driven services that utilizes the underlying computer resources in an abstracted way in order to provide cloud computing capabilities to our users. In recent years, especially with a partnership uh, with Intel, um, Alibaba Cloud has worked with uh, technology leaders in the industry to bring further vertical integrations between software and hardware together. As a cloud provider, we have this unique advantage in that we can work with our partners, such as Intel, to optimize the underlying hardware and the software stack all in all at the same time in order to allow the entire stack of technologies work better together. And as an end result, to, to create a new generation of born for cloud products. A really good example is that we have, we have this um, seventh generation enhanced ECS, the last computing service instance. And this is the first in the, in, in the industry and the first in the world to offer Intel's Icelake CPU based computing instances uh, to the world. It is a combination of our own proprietary Dragonfly hypervisor, um, Intel Icelake CPU, the third generation X Dragon architecture, and our ESSD, which is enhanced SSD uh, storage capabilities. Awesome. So I know that you know in in my case, I work very closely with Global ISV, and uh, they are the beneficiary of this close collaboration between Intel and Alibaba because their software um, are meant to be run in the cloud. And with the great work that you guys are doing, it makes it life a lot easier. Um, but when we talk about the cloud, security and reliability goes hand in hand, right? So how do you make VM instances and in general, cloud computing resources and environment more secure and reliable? Um, Raymond, let's start with you. Sure, um, so here in about Cloud, right? We strongly believe that a secure and reliable cloud environment is the cornerstone for any cloud workload, for any customer. Essentially, customers are actually entrusting us as cloud provider to putting their data on the cloud. That's their lifeline. Without their data being protected, without their workload being in a secure uh, working environment, they may not have a business to run. And that is why we have worked with Intel over the years on security technologies to further advance our security product and feature offerings for our customers. For example, our seventh generation um, uh, ECS compute instances are the first in the, in, in the industry to adopt Intel SGX technolo technology, which uses hardware-based protection for the confidentiality and integrity of, key, of protection for key code and key data from malicious attacks. Um, additionally, we're also offering TPM and virtual TPM as our instances um, root of trust. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're actually offering this in, uh, uh, unclaved uh, VM instance that provides high level of isolation at the hypervisor level. Altogether, we are bringing both hardware-based and software-based security enhancements at both host and VM level. Mm -hmm. And with turnkey ready monitoring and remediation solutions ready for our users. We have also implemented data encryption and protection capabilities for both data at rest and in transit. And there are more, uh, many more actually, hardware and software-based security and reliability enhancements that we will be announcing in the coming month. Well, that's awesome. Uh, how about you, Eric? Um, what's your perspective on this topic as well? Yeah, uh, I, I like to add some color uh, from Intel perspective. So Intel is always working with Alibaba on continuously improving the platform security and the reliability. Every six months, Intel will release our uh, platform update package called IPU to fix exposed security vulnerabilities as well as the function mm -hmm. issues we found. So we recommend our partners to apply the latest IPU to cloud environment to keep hardening the cloud computing environments. So besides that, Intel also has many new building hardware enhanced security features to support confidential compute in the cloud environment, including crypto acceleration, 
SGX, Software Guard Extensions, TME, Total Memory Encryption, and Intel Platform Firmware Resilience, and all these great technologies. So these features have been proven to be helpful to build up a foundation of trusted cloud environment to pro pro protect data, uh, IP, and our customers' privacy, and improve the system resilience. So as a result, and as what Raymond mentioned before, in Alibaba's newest seventh generation ECS cloud instance, it was launched with the newest SGX based security computing instance. So that's a perfect example of our collaboration with Alibaba team. Wow. So with all these built-in hardware, software, and technology and chipsets, et cetera, so maybe you can just kind of summarize it. So to the customers and to the partners who would eventually want to run their software on top of, say, Alibaba Cloud, what are all these innovations that both you gentlemen just talked about? What is the bottom line for them? Is it going to make their lives easier, the low cost of development? Uh, what, what's their bottom line if I were the CIO of an enterprise customer? Eric? Sure. I, I think, uh, I think uh, fundamentally, for the enterprise customer, uh, they have a lot of sensitivity uh, data. And what we are here to provide is not just a piece of hardware that they can run their uh, software or run their uh, solutions, but also a, a, a hardware kind of platform that has enhanced the security uh, mm -hmm. from different perspectives, right? You can have like a, a, at a higher level security or maybe at a very micro level security that's uh, protected and encrypted encrypted uh, at the hardware level and also with Alibaba's sub solution on top of it, I think it's a worry-free type of uh, uh, approach and mm -hmm. offering we can to our, our end user customers. Great, thanks. Raymond, anything to add to that? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so on top of the uh, fundamental reliable and secure um, uh, working environment, right? On top of that, if, you, if I was a CEO and then basically looking at the uh, um, you know, which cloud providers to choose from, then I would be looking at the three main things on top of being secure and reliable, uh, mainly performance and also cost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also uh, stability, right? So, so essentially what it is, is these are the uh, three additional fundamental things for you to look at when you're actually choosing cloud providers. Are, mm -hmm. you, know, are you actually getting the, the best performance, you know, the best bang for your buck, right? Um, and uh, what, what is the overall TCO, right? A total cost of ownership. And then, um, you know, uh, it, kind of, it kind of echoes to, to the reliability part of it, but also the mm -hmm. stability, right? And the, and the availability of the service, right? Because you could have the world's best service, but if it's not stable enough and it's not available mm -hmm. to you all the time, then you might as well not have them. Right. Good point. So speaking of TCO and reliability of services, right? So when today, with the increasing data being created near the edge and on-premise computing as well, how should a cloud provider offer a diverse set of choice when it comes to cloud infrastructure? That is like edge computing, distributed cloud, et cetera, while still maintaining a unified cloud experience to both its users and our developers. Um, Raymond, let's start with you. Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, basically over the years, we've been hearing uh, different concepts, right? Distributed cloud, okay. edge cloud, um, uh, even like, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a cloud that's near, uh, to the endpoint, right? And so on and mm -hmm. so forth, there are different concepts. But to the, to the bottom of this, right? It's really that we have to look at the market trend. So mm -hmm. right now we're actually seeing a market trend and we're actually seeing the needs to bring cloud computing capabilities closer to our customer. It's actually very important because we're starting mm -hmm. to see such a trend where customers are producing massive amount of data in both mm -hmm. on-prem and near edge environments. And as a cloud provider, right? We need to follow where the data is. Okay. In, other, in other words, where the data is, that's where our cloud computing capability should be, okay? So that is why we're looking forward to working with Intel and other partners to see how we can push the boundaries of cloud computing to better serve customers in different and various setup. Specifically, right, uh, we can see that customers uh, are demanding a diverse workload integration to coexist both in central and local premises, mm -hmm. right? In other words, um, that is why Alibaba Cloud has just announced um, local regions, which is a tier two region for customers' mm -hmm. local usage. Essentially, it offers a set of more than 40 cloud products with the same unified product experience and developing mm -hmm. experience as tier one central regions, 
while providing low latency and low costs to the local users. All in all, Alibaba Cloud is offering a four layers or four types of public cloud infrastructures, ranging from central regions to local tier two regions, and then to edge nodes and infield cloud appliances. The goal is to provide a unified architecture and experience both in product as well as in development to our customers, no matter where the computing needs exist. Wow, that's, a, that's a great point. I, I love the fact that when you said that, you know, data uh, is uh, central and is powering everything. Cause I look at, when I speak with the uh, customers and global partners, um, data is gravity because that is the thing that's gonna anchor pretty much exactly. all the applications, uh, no right. matter where they are. And, um, and the cloud offers that one-stop shop that allows them to access that data from wherever they are. Um, so Eric, I'm interested in your perspective on this same topic as well. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think both of you uh, articulate this very well. I just want to add, uh, for example, edge computing is a fast growing market, right? Edge deployment mm -hmm. models varies based on location, infrastructure, workload ownership. A lot of latency sensitivity workloads require cloud services close to the end user, such as cloud gaming, media processing, AI infer inference, et cetera. So CSPs has natural advantages to penetrate into edge services because they have the ownership of full cloud software stack. And Intel and Alibaba are collaborating to define edge computing and the solution of edge to cloud, uh, I think from years ago. And I think this is something we definitely need to uh, have more focus given the new uh, approach of our collaboration. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, thanks. Um, you, you're sharing some awesome insight. So to kind of to wrap things up, I wanna um, ask you uh, maybe some light questions. So mm -hmm. when we talk about born in the cloud, the data center is the birthplace. So what is it like? And what are you guys doing to imp continually improve uh, the, 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 the birthplace of born in the cloud and, and do it in an environmentally responsible way. Uh, so Raymond, let's start with you. Yeah, sure. Um, so one thing that I wanted, uh, you know, mention first is that we actually have a very close partnership with Intel uh, mm -hmm. so that we actually build this an immersion cooling server. And I've seen them um, myself firsthand. They're mm -hmm. really, really, they're really cool. And then um, indeed it's a prime example of how we can reduce the, uh, the PUE and TCO and also mm -hmm. overall contribution to the green environment. And additionally, when we look at data center, right, from a um, uh, cloud operating system point of view, Alibaba Cloud is actually building an Apacera uh, intelligent operating platform to manage all of our resources, all the physical resources in the data center. As we strive to build data centers with integrated monitoring and management mm -hmm. and control capabilities from a data-driven perspective so that we can bring optimizations, not only at a software level, but also at the physical resource level as well. Awesome. Uh, Eric, uh Final thoughts on this? Yeah, so I think uh, data center construction has never stopped its evolution. Intel and Alibaba are always focusing on new technology innovation and you know, we are a uh, partner in innovations. So for example, like Raymond said, last year Alibaba deployed immersive uh, liquid cooling servers uh, with Intel's uh, product, with Intel's processor, which effectively reduces PUE and TCO and uh, contributes to the green ecosystem. And that's very important, I think. Uh, and this is a true innovation, I would say, uh, probably first in the world to really uh, deploy these systems at scales. And it took a lot of uh, uh, work from both teams to achieve that. Right. Yeah, thanks. Liquid cooling, that's awesome. Yeah. Does that mean that someday we'll be able to cool our data centers using the ocean water? We'll, we'll work it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, gentlemen, uh, it's been an enlightening discussion uh, uh, today. Uh, thank you for joining Digital Beats and uh, sharing your insights uh, and experiences uh, with our audience. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.